A 74-year-old Grand Prairie man lost the home he once shared with his wife and son to a fire Valentine's Day, but he could have lost his life if not for a pet that alerted him. Thank you, Jesus, for sending me an angel. <laughs> yeah, this really is an amazing story. Reed McIntosh says he was asleep when his home caught fire. It was one of his five cats, Angel, that woke him up. He got out of the house, but Angel and the rest of his pets did not make it. Fox 4's Alex Boyer is in Grand Prairie tonight with the story. Alex. Heather, Reed uh, McIntosh says that he and his five cats were curled up on the sofa watching the Mavs game Monday night. When it was over, they went to sleep. And a few hours later, McIntosh would find himself standing on this sidewalk watching his home burn down with his cats trapped inside. And the rest of the place is gone. Reed McIntosh has made a lot of memories in this Grand Prairie home. They weren't able to salvage anything in here. Um, it's where he and his wife, Elaine, raised their son. It's also where the 74-year-old man mourned her passing from cancer in 2007. We had her in a box, uh, cremated. For the past decade, McIntosh says his sole source of comfort has been his five cats. That little paw up here, and it just... <laughs> What do you want? Anything you want's yours, baby boy, you know? Early Tuesday morning, McIntosh was asleep in his bedroom when one of his cats named Angel started pawing his face. He did it again, and I sort of set up like, what? That's when McIntosh heard some beeping, and at first thought it was his computer, but it was a smoke alarm going off near the garage. Open the door. There it was. McIntosh says he had to get out and call 911. Grand Prairie firefighters showed up and began fighting the flames and searching for the cats still inside. One of the gentlemen come out and they said, we found them. They were all in your bedroom. I said, oh, great. And he said, no, they're all gone. Sorry. McIntosh says a woman with animal control brought the cats out in a clothing basket so he could say goodbye. If it hadn't been for Angel, I'd have been dead. I think that was destined to be his name. Uh, I think he was destined to be here to save me on a Valentine's Day I'll never forget. And the cause of the fire uh, remains under investigation, but uh, firefighters do not believe that it looks uh, suspicious at all. Now, I can tell you that McIntosh also ran an online business selling stuff on eBay from his house. All of those items also lost in the fire. His son has set up a GoFundMe page for him. If you'd like to make a donation, I've included uh, that link on our website, fox4news.com. But uh, Stephen Heather, as you can imagine, he says no amount of money could replace his five precious cats. Yeah, no kidding. Part of his family. All right, Alex, thank you for the coverage.